As with previous releases, users can easily create part, assembly, and feature notes by pressing the right mouse button on a given file or feature name in the model tree. In Creo 3.0, users will also have the ability to create notes through a new ribbon group available in the Tools tab. Within the Tools tab Notes group, users now will have the ability to create untached notes, tangent leader notes, leader notes, on item notes, or normal leader notes. Regardless if you create via the model tree or the new group, any notes created will launch the new note user interface. This new user interface allows users to create a note and define specific information about the model or feature without the need to define its placement. In this case for the assembly level note, I'm just going to provide the name of the actual component. You'll also notice that I can also insert it based from a file or from a note, and I can also define additional symbols to be included. At this point, let's click on OK. In the model tree, I see this annotations option. If I expand this, I'll see the note that I just created, in this case, note underscore two. The resulting note is unattached and will not be displayed in the graphics window. To change the display, placement, or other attributes, users can right mouse button on the note and select note type, where they could then define it as on item leader, normal leader, or tangent leader. In addition, they can choose to delete, rename it to give it a unique name, or find the actual model information pertaining to the note in question. I can repeat this operation to create a note on a particular part. Selecting the first component in the assembly, I can right mouse button and say on create note, and in this case it's going to be a note for a part. We see the familiar notes dialog come up where I can enter in the text. In this case, I'm going to type in material, colon, and then a defined name for the material. I'm going to click on OK. Expanding the part in question, I can now see note underscore 16 corresponding to the note that I just created. As with the top level note, it is grayed out and unattached. Again, we could right mouse button on this, define note type, and I could say with leader. Again, I would define its placement associated to this component, so I'm going to select on this edge. And then as I drag my mouse around, we get a preview of where that note will be placed. Clicking the middle mouse button will allow me to place the note in the graphics window. The new note interface makes it easy for users to create notes and leverage them in the model without impeding the display. Now users can capture all their pertinent information at the assembly level or component level without forcing the user to place the note in the graphics window.